everyone. Welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen for the recipe of the week. And that's not pheasant. That's not pheasant. <laughs> that's big, beautiful Kelly shot mallards. Chef Kelly yeah. mm -hmm. is taking credit for something that we're making. Oh, uh, well, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, you guys are over there just slaying the salmon. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I got to get some credit in there too. So yeah, so today we're gonna make a uh, duck and dewy sausage gumbo. This is a very good staple of, uh, of duck camp. And yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you're a guide. Yeah, I'm a duck yeah. guide for Pacific Wings. And um, awesome. so yeah, duck is, is eating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have this at least once a week in the camp, huh? Oh yeah, at, at least. least. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna tackle these uh, ingredients as I go. Okay. So here is what uh, we call the holy trinity of uh, Cajun cuisine. This is the onion, celery, green bell pepper. The French also have their own trinity. It's uh, onion, celery, uh, carrots, which is called mirepoix. Okay, and we have our Holy Trinity. Oh, well, yes, but that's, just, that's the little Jesus, though. <laughs> that's the little Jesus. <laughs> so, let's There's start, some Jesus in there. Let's go ahead and start sauteing this off. Good amount of oil, actually. Oh, okay. I see, yeah. Let that get nice hot oil. pan. Yep. Okay, lots of vegetables. Thank you. That's going to cook down a lot, so don't worry about that. Okay? Okay. Just going to... I wasn't worried. You're not worried? Good. No. As long as you're not worried, then I'm not worried. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna season as we go. Yes, I made a little mess on the on the stove. I'm sorry. Got oh, it. you're gonna wipe it up? Uh-huh. Thank you. Okay, so while that's going, <laughs> let's talk about our duck. So we have our duck is uh, kind of cut into like one inch little pieces. And uh, I soak mine in a little, little salt water brine for about a couple hours, kind of leach all that blood out. And uh, I believe that that has a lot of that gaminess to it. So let's, we're gonna so do that. So that about two of your big ducks? Uh-huh, uh-huh. More like four. Well, you know, we shoot them over flooded corn, so, you know, <laughs> these are corn-fed mallards. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, so uh, I have these all dried off. Make sure you kind of dry them off so that it's, uh, it's gonna sear really good. Okay, so we're gonna start on, on these. So we got our pan nice and smoking hot. That's and uh, try not to let's make like one layer. Oh yeah, big enough pan to do yeah. one layer. Yeah, use a big pan. I think. Uh, Careful there. <laughs> what is going on over here? I got some stickage. I got. My mouth just don't want to go in the pan. <laughs> Wrestling with the mallards. There we go. There we go. All right. So I just want to make one nice good layer so it gets a little separation between each other. And have you left some fat on? Or no, 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 I cut all the fat don't. off. Okay. Yeah. It's not like the pheasants. See, I keep going back to that pheasant. Oh, I know. You love them. I do. I've loved everything that you make these, with these pheasant. These vessels already have cooked down by a third already. So when you first saw it, you go, oh, yeah. wow, that was a lot of veg. It cooks down pretty quick. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about our thickening agents. So traditional, can't, uh, can't miss this step, is the Cajun roux. So you can see I took the roux, which is just equal parts fat and flour. This is butter, so I did one cup of uh, flour and uh, one stick of butter. And I okay. cooked it down to like this kind of nut brown and color. And it's thick like that. Yeah, and the, the Cajuns do something a little bit different sometimes. They will use, uh, also use like just straight oil. I, I don't know if that's because it's cheaper or, or what their deal <laughs> is because it's just not, uh, it's not it's no go for me. Yeah. I cook too long in French cooking to, to cook, make roux with just oil. Yeah. Okay. We want to thicken our duck. It's doing good. Okay. okay. The second thickening agent is okra. Now this is optional because some people will say that oh, okra it has a little bit of a slimy texture because in these little cells, when you start to cook it, it uh, has like a, a different kind of a texture to it. But I like okay. the flavor of them, so I always put okra in there. Typically, I use about four times this, but we couldn't really find okra, 
Yeah. So, and the stuff we found wasn't as good as we would yeah. have liked, but. Yeah. And so we're probably going to use more roux than we normally would. So we'll probably use like three quarters of this. Oh, and we'll see, see where we're at later on. That's why I always make a little bit extra. When I'm in duck camp, I make five times this. Yeah. Just because I don't want to have to make this every single time. Because it's, uh, you know, Emerald Lagasse used to say that it takes about two beers, you know, time to take, you know, drink two beers to cook your roux. So, you know, it's a little <laughs> bit of time. <laughs> I mean, I don't drink, but, you know, I understand what he's saying. Alright, so that's still going away. You don't drink bed. and cook. That is doing awesome. Okay, we're gonna that's add good. some stuff in there too. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of garlic. Uh, we can add our okra in now. Uh, I have two serranos. Serrano chilies? Yeah, now some people will. will Season their uh, their gumbo with uh, Tabasco. I'm just not one of those people. If I'm going to put Tabasco, I put it in the, in the end. So, how spicy is this? Just as a warning to us this time. Uh, two serranos is nothing. I mean, you know, like maybe two out of ten. It really isn't. I'm okay. Trying to be nice to y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. So our dust, you can see, he's getting some good color on there. And let him go hair more. And uh, so this is a uh, bay leaf. I'm gonna put two bay leaves in there. And that's just for flavoring. You don't want to eat bay leaves. Yeah, we want to pull these out afterwards. There you go. And so, okay. All right, so we're going to set aside our duck. Oh. And we're just trying to get some good caramelization on there. We're going to add some That's more good. oil. Because we're going to throw our andouille sausage in there, too. Okay, so we're building all, all these the different, same pan. different layers of flavors. Yeah. All yeah. same thing. Okay. Let's check on our... Trinity, looking beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna add just a touch of, like a, a teaspoon of thyme. Thyme goes a long way. That's fresh so. thyme. Yeah, thyme is very strong, so, you know, less is, is better. Okay, we're gonna add our, about three quarters of our roux in. Let that start to melt down in there. And I always have a little bit extra in case I might have the texture that I want yet. And it's melting away. That doesn't take long to get that in there. Oh yeah. It seems like how thick it looks, but it would take longer. All right. Okay, so now we are just going to add, I rendered off some bacon earlier. That's about six slices of bacon. By rendered, you mean? I just, you know, sauteed it off and. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding our chicken stock. Now I made chicken stock this morning. Somebody had a rotisserie chicken laying around. Yeah, so that I, was Dwayne's. I don't know. So you stole it. I saw the carcass. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So I made my own chicken stock. So I just have the scraps from uh, my celery onions and I have some extra carrots to flip around. Add some bay leaves and there you go. You have uh, chicken stock. You know, it just cooks, takes like an hour, especially if it's already oh my roasted. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn this down. Okay. Cause this is a little aggressive. <laughs> just a little. Be aggressive. Be Okay. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Oh. Come on, man. I'm trying to have some fun here. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. Uh, I sense judgment Are you there. turning red? Do you embarrass yourself? <laughs> all right, we got some andouille sausage all sauteed up here. Wow. All right. Then we got our, add it all in there? Just add it all in there. Add our duck. Mm. There we go. 
Oh, well, that's looking amazing already. Yes. All right, so we're just going to cap this, and uh, this is going to go for about uh, about an hour or so. Oh, so, so we have quite a while. Yes, we have a little, little, little bit of time. More than two beers. <laughs> <laughs> we don't drink and cook. I know. Yes. Okay, well, I guess why we let this simmer for an hour. Yes. We will throw it back to you guys in the studio. Everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and we're here to finish up our gumbo and before we forget we forgot a little something I don't know before. what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> yes I did forget to add the diced tomatoes to it sorry I put in 28 ounces of diced tomatoes 28 and, ounces yeah. of diced tomatoes and uh, I wasn't really liking where the, uh, the direction of, of the thickness was going, so I added the rest of that, that roux that I had okay. and uh, added it to it. So, And so we are looking for this kind of texture. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, That's yeah. pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. Just like that, okay? Yeah. And so it's usually served with uh, white rice. So we have a little bit of white rice right there. Is that just regular? I Rice. use jasmine. I like jasmine a little bit better. Okay. Jim, jasmine is your favorite. Look what you made me do. Yeah, I know. Got you all worked up over jasmine. I know. Fixed it. Hmm. Well, that just looks terrible. Yeah, I know, right? So, as you can see, you know, if you want to uh, just kind of stay with that, uh, just the roux texture, that's good. I like a little more okra. This is my personal taste. Okay. And I also like to garnish with a lot of green onions. Nice little Ooh. pop color. Yeah. Never have too much of this. There you go. And that's Boom. it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wild mallard and dewy sausage gumbo. And dewy. And dewy. And dewy sausage. Yes. Well, okay. Well, this sounds so good, like on a um, fall evening. Yes. Yes. Or any time, really. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. Well, while we dig in, we're going to go ahead and throw it back to you guys in the studio. 